Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. Thank you so much for showing love and support to the previous episodes of how to deploy. Today we are going to show I'm going to show you how to deploy a Next.js app to Vercel. This is a step-by-step -step guide. After this, you will be able to push all of your local projects to Vercel. Let's get started. Before we actually start and learn how to deploy, I will show you how you will get a free account to deploy. Go to Vercel.com. Vercel is a company which uh, is behind Next.js, the platform that is built as an open source. This company also provides free hosting for developers individuals as a hobby so if you go here there is something called free forever plan which comes under hobby where you can maintain deploy and import your repos and deploy in seconds this is an automatic ci cd that means you will be able to push your project your code in no time it also supports fluid compute performance insights deployments much more all right so go to click on sign up and get your free account so once you have done you should see a dashboard with your projects these are my projects that are there that i showed you earlier i've shown you how to deploy a react application i've shown you how to deploy an angular application today i'll show you how to deploy next.js application before we kick start don't forget to get your full stack interview question answer series pack it covers over 25 technologies and over 2000 interview question answer series with code snippets. This is a once in a lifetime buy where you will get all these stacks and technologies in one place. You can prepare and crack any interview. You can get your copy at arctutorials.gumroad.com. All right, let's get started. Let's learn how to deploy a Next.js application to Vercel. Now let's go to our Visual Studio code and this is the folder I'm teaching you how to deploy Angular application React earlier. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy Next.js app. Now go inside, open an integrated terminal. Now the first things we'll do is set up our Next.js application. So we'll type create next app, just like how we say um, create react app so for next.js applications we write create next app give a name of it let's say payments now is it okay to proceed yes please would you like typescript yes would you like eslint yes tailwind no would you like into source folder yes app router yes turbo pack all of these are the default settings so just hit enter 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 I'm not going into details of it. I have a tutorial on my channel on Next.js, so make sure you watch it if you're new into Next.js. But this tutorial is to show you how to deploy. So our payments application is ready inside Next.js. All right, so now go inside this and you have your Next.js setup ready. To run it, what we'll do is we'll just, um, once you have done it, go to the folder, okay? And if there are any dependencies, we can type npm install, but we don't have any. So we are skipping that step and just type npm run dev. So it will tell you once it's ready and it's ready on localhost 3000, like any uh, React application. So you see this page, that means your next JS application is good to go and it's ready, it's working. Now, how do you deploy it? So to deploy first, like how you do in React applications as well, you'll run build command. What this does is it will generate you the dist folder, which is used for production deployments. Usually in automated pipelines, this step is also done in the pipeline. Okay, so once you have it, so that means if you see here, these are all the chunks that were generated. Okay, so your production build is ready. The next thing we'll do is, if you have not already installed Vercel, I'll quickly show you how to do that also. npm install hyphen g and type Vercel. Then it would do the installation 
with the latest version of the CLI and once you run the command virtual login it would give you it will prompt you this options if you signed up with a github if you signed up with an email select the corresponding option in my case I have set it up with my github account so once you hit enter it will do the authentication and it's successful and then you can go back because I got the message which says you're now logged in the next thing you'll do is just hit virtual and it will say set up and deploy yes which part of the scope I'll say deploy to Surya's projects links to existing project no what's your project name I'm going to type payments app which directory it's on the root so I'll hit enter and these are the commands it's going to run next build next year's default and do this installation looks good let's go that's it and your next JS app is ready to be deployed to Vercel app for free in no time I have covered angular and react also earlier in my channel so make sure that you watch that also so you learn how to deploy these applications to Vercel easily it will take a couple of seconds not more than that and your application should be ready in the meanwhile let me show you the dashboard so you can see here payments app just now it is still building that so let's give that another couple of seconds okay while we are waiting please do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe button to continue to support me and encourage me thank you in advance alright so it's completed uh, it has deployed the production build to our project so this is deployed click on it and you can see when it when was it deployed and all that you can also see the deployments that were done what time it was done one minute ago and click on that link and you'll see the list link this is your Next.js app deployed to Vercel app for free without any payment. So go ahead and now follow the same steps and deploy all of your Next.js applications to Vercel for free of cost. No money, nothing. Best thing that you can get as a, as a gift for developer or an individual developer or a freelancer or even for that matter learning. Right? Make sure you utilize it for free good all right I'll continue to bring you these deployment tutorials as well on various platforms in the next episode maybe I'll show you how to uh, deploy ExpressJS endpoints on Vercel right till then hit that like button keep supporting me don't forget to get your full stack interview question answer series kit thank you so much see you in the next episode